So what exactly is genetics? We've known approximately forever that the observable characteristics of organisms are heritable. Right, so if you breed two Holstein cows together, you're going to get another Holstein cow, right? And if two human parents have dark skin, they are very likely to have a dark-skinned child. And so genetics is the study of how traits are, in, are transmitted or inherited in organisms. And I think it's useful to look about to uh, to look at genetics through three different kinds of lenses. And so, working with peas, we know that Gregor Mendel discovered that traits are in are controlled by single units of heredity, which we nowadays call genes. Right. And so, when we think about transmission and let's say Punnett squares and uh, dominant versus assessive alleles and the like. We usually call this Mendelian genetics or classical genetics. And of course, we know nowadays that the reason that Gregor Mendel found these kinds of individual units of heredity that we now call genes, and the reason that the organisms that he was studying them in had two different alleles of each of those genes, two different versions, was that DNA in many organisms is packaged into chromosomes, and many animals have two copies of each chromosome. Each of those chromosomes has a different version of each of the genes that's on that chromosome. And when that organism reproduces, then the gametes that that organism produces only get one copy or one version. Right, and so we call this kind of view of genetics transmission genetics or chromosomal genetics. And finally, of course, we know that genes are carried on DNA, right? And that many genes encode for proteins, and so DNA gets transcribed to make RNA, which gets translated to make proteins. And we call this, this view or this paradigm of genetics molecular genetics. Because it's all about the molecules that are involved here. So, one of my goals this semester is to help you see that there is not any fundamental distinction between these three different views, right? That each is, in different contexts perhaps, a useful way to think about how genes, how traits, are transmitted from parents to progeny. However, this may just be my own, um, my own kinds of leanings, but I think that the molecular view of genetics is the easiest one to wrap your head around because it's the most mechanistic, right? We can actually point at a molecule and say this does this or is turned into that. And so that's where we're going to start, right? With a look at how genes are encoded in DNA and what exactly they code for.